In this next segment, teacher and maker Kelly Taylor is going to hook us up by showing us how to make a circuit using unconventional materials. Take a look. Lots of kids dream of being the next great engineer or scientist. But did you know learning how to design spacecraft begins with, like, normal crafts? To find out how, today we're talking to Dr. Kelly Taylor, an elementary school teacher in Boise, Idaho. The thing that I love most about my job are the students. I get to share my passion with them, passion for making, passion for learning, and then they get to share their passions with me. So each year, I meet a new group of people that get to inspire me, and I continue to learn from them throughout the years. Dr. Taylor is going to show us how becoming a scientist, artist, or engineer starts with making. So have you ever made a picture, written a story, created some type of art, or even tried to make a robot of your own? Then you are a maker. Making encourages problem solving, critical thinking, and of course, communication. Makers can create with almost anything, from rubber bands and foam to good old fashioned construction paper. Using simple supplies like this, Dr. Taylor teaches her students the basics of electrical engineering bringing art and science together with paper circuits. A circuit is where you have energy flowing from a power source, battery, outlet, to something that's drawing a load, maybe a light bulb or television, whatever the case may be. Today, we're going to start with just some paper, some copper tape. We need a power source, so we're going to have a battery, and then we're going to use some sticker lights. She starts by planning out the layout of her simple circuit. Next, she lays out the copper tape, carefully bending it at the corners. We can't tear or cut the copper tape, otherwise we open our circuit and the energy cannot flow. Leaving gaps for the battery and sticker light, Dr. Taylor smooths the tape down with a pencil, attaches the conductive light to the copper on the circuit, and test attaches the battery to see if it all works. Success, all right. A successful test means a complete simple circuit with current flowing out from the positive terminal of the battery through the copper into the light and back to the battery. Making a parallel circuit is similar with Dr. Taylor again planning, taping, and testing. The electrons are flowing out of the positive pathway and then at each light, they're coming back to the negative terminal of the battery. When I bring making into the classroom, my students aren't just working on science or math or engineering. They're putting it all together and maybe even using computer coding. One place Dr. Taylor looks to for inspiration is the Pathfinders Online Institute from our sponsor, Infosys Foundation USA. You can access live events. You can find computer science classes for different age groups. And there's even resources for students to access with online challenges, design thinking, inventing. Dr. Taylor's students take what they've learned about paper circuits to make their own art and science projects. So we're using our simple circuits to create some thank you cards featuring family pets and loved ones, a giant card, a Morse code device wearable dragon, this 3D globe that you can then light with a circuit from within. We can also code circuits through robotics and other computer devices. So once you understand the basic circuit, you can keep going. There's lots to learn. If you combine STEM and making, you may find success where you haven't found it before, and you'll grow your confidence and learn new things, and who knows where it will take you. You might be designing the next Mars rover. So what are you waiting for? Get out there and make.